Hey, what's up, guys? So, c'est mon dit. Uh, and uh, uh, first, I will start by uh, uh, wishing everybody like a uh, happy new year. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about what I've been doing with uh, RPGs recently. Uh, I've been. Uh, no, I would say I would say I'm. A, I'm active, you know, not like super, super active, especially not with the vlogging. But I've been, um, I've been uh, active, all right. I have this, I have uh, two games going on. Uh, first one is about, um, it's, the, it's, a, it's an old uh, burning wheel game in our old setting that we've been creating uh, along for like, I don't know how many years now, maybe, uh, maybe four years, uh, three, four years. And uh, we're, we're playing in the, in the main city, so it's a it's a city exclusive uh, uh, setting. So we're building like you know the political layers of the city that is the set, kind of like the center of the, the setting. And I'm and, and this video is not about that at all though. This video is about this uh, this five session game that I'm GMing for Bash, Colin Cruikshank, and uh, the Swamper Rob. And uh, we, uh, we, you know, it's uh, we're learning a new game. We're learning Boot Hill, third edition. So it's a, uh, the, the the genre is uh, Weird West, meaning that is uh, it's a uh, it's 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 it's, uh, it's uh, I want it to be you know like little psychedelic, a little weird uh, horror, drama thriller kind of game, kind of kind of setting. So I proposed that to these guys, and they agreed uh but but no supernatural so no zombie no deadland no you know no you know weird uh stuff that that has nothing to do it's it's it stays in the it stays in the real but it's gonna go uh AOL. well uh, as much as much uh, uh, you know as it as it shows itself but uh it, it, it has to be uh, you know so so i'm stressing on the uh, as the GM, I'm stressing on the realism. I'm stressing on tension and fear of uh, of the unknown, the unknown and the weird. Uh, so far, you know, at least I, because I don't know how it's gonna go. I don't know where it's gonna go. I we, we played one session, and the game is a, so. So the game is. Um, I'm not gonna talk much about the story. I want to talk about my experience of learning the game. So, Boot Hill Third Edition is not a is not a big game. Like, there's not a lot of rules to to learn. It's not uh, it's not necessarily um, you know heavy and complicated in terms of ruling and stuff. But it's super interesting. I've I've been interested in in uh, in this game for Western uh, for a while now because I I bought it and never got the chance to play. And um, and so uh, this is this is the way I see it. This is a game. So so it's an old. It's a it's a TSR game that had like thir three editions. Uh, you know, so it started in the late seventies. Then it, it, it went through the eighties and the the nineties. And the last edition, the third one, is the one we we uh, we play. So the, everything is D twenty. So it's a D twenty game. Uh, all the resolution are D twenty based. There is a D6 for everything else, like damage, damages, and and like like in the shootout, you use the D6 to to remember which round you are in, like um, the number of uh, of counts, uh, and and for the character creation, you use a D10. So these are the the basic uh, the basic things. The game is is really interesting, like mechanically and design wise, because it's just an uh, a, 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 bunch like a plethora of or i don't know how to say that in english but it's like just a bunch of subsystem put together kind of thing you have like um you have a shootout you, you know so they so they will they will divide uh gunfight in, in, into two categories you have the, the shootout face to face the duel kind of thing you go outside and uh, face to face and then you have the um, far away Take your time, kind of gunfight. So, so they created a subsystem, a really interesting subsystem uh, for for the shootout. 
it's 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 um it's intricate and i'm not you know familiar with it enough to to describe it here in uh in in, in detail but it's basically like um there is type of shoot like the hip shot the steady shot the fan shot the you know the 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 the, the, the distillated the type of shoots the type of shots you can do with guns in the game and then they they actually they, they give uh, points like like cost to do them sh shots and so what you do is you roll your 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 um uh, what's the is it dexterity it's a speed word is it dexterity ah, i think it's dexterity i'm not i'm not sure but the, you, you roll your speed attribute to determine who's the first and then you you see, you mention out loud what are gonna be your um, your 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 shots and then the other guy uh, decide which one he's gonna do as well and depending on the one you choose you're either gonna shoot at the same time in, in each of those phase or you're gonna shoot depending on the count of six because it's 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 a cost thing so for example a steady shot might cost three or and a fan shot might, might cost one but they don't have the same kind of accuracy they don't do the same kind of damage therefore uh, and, and, and then and then you, you you try to go through a round and survive. It's just like, bah, 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 bah. And, uh, you know, and then you have to reload and everything. So so the game is is interesting because, in in terms of uh, in terms of mechanics, like uh, whenever you do, it's a skill. There's a lot of skills, and, and so, so it's it's a minimalist. I would say it's a minimalist design, but it's it has uh, it it has a lot of a lot of granularity. And it is it, it has some grain you have like the grain for example is that you need to uh you know if you have a horse you need to to to, to create your horse with attributes and skills horse skills uh, and then if you if you, when and whenever you you pick your um your, your you know in the skills they, they they separate the skills in categories like you have um you have skills like for uh, for, for, for combat, they are specific and they are linked to the combat system and the shootout system depending on the type of, uh, of, of situation you're in. And um, they, 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 they are pistols and guns and brawling and stuff. Basic, you know, Western stuff. And then, and then you have, you have your uh, working skills. So depending on your, it's a classless game, it's, it's, but they, they give you stereotypical jobs or if we want archetypes that there is in the west but they don't they don't it's not a it's not necessarily a package you you, you kind of pick and choose what you want but you need to pick a certain number of work skill that fits your job description kind of thing as so it's, it's so you separate they separate these two so whenever you do whenever you do um uh a, a job skill it's super basic it's like a Roll D, roll under, you know D twenty and and skills roll under. And if you don't have the skill, you roll the attribute kind of thing, right? It's really really uh, basic, it's, and it's uh, D twenty roll under equal or under. But whenever you go into combat, now you get into a really granular gun and reload and a random charts for hit location and and body part. So the game is clearly not a combat game. The, the, the combat is, is super granular. And in, in, for, me, for me, whenever I see a slow, complex, multi-role combat like that, I'm like, nice, this is gonna be, this is gonna be uh, tough. This is gonna be dangerous. So you don't fight every game and you don't go into a two or three fight a game because I mean, it's, it's just nasty. You, 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 the, 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 the probability you die because the thing is random. The, the, depending on your accuracy, you know, the, on the dexterity rolls and stuff, you get to choose the body part, but not so much. It's hard to explain, but it's, it's, it's like a chart. You can add points depending on the number you get on the dice. You can move up the ladder in the, in the, on the chart, and this you can get to the head real quick, or you can get, depending on where you get, you get extra bonus on damage, and you can, you know, can die really quick. And so, uh, and and the far west is not a it's not an easy place to get hill and everything. So it go it goes fast. So for me, I was like, this is not a combat game. But whenever you tr you go into combat, it has to be meaningful. So 
this is the way I, I, I see it. And I, I was like, this is interesting because the game is really fast and easy to play whenever you're not into, into a shootout or a combat. Whenever you get into a combat, it's just, it, it slows down to the nitty gritty of where the bullet hits and how much damage is gonna do and, 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 and all that. And in the far west, there's not a lot of protection. You don't go like in the, like a cyberpunk game with ballistic armor and shit like that. You don't, it, it's not, it's not, that's not the case. That's not the way to go. So the game is um, inherently lethal and, and, uh, and, and, and somehow, re somehow realistic because if you look at the skills, you know what they say, like in game design, like the skill list will tell you like what the game is about. Uh, not, not like, uh, you know, it's gonna tell you a lot about what the game is about, or, or the, the the design intention at least. And so when it when you look at the skill, yes, I mean for combat there is five skill I think or so, and there is like sixty or or so skill in the game. So like all the rest is is skills about work. It's it's the everyday struggle of the life on the frontier, and this is the theme. The theme of the the theme of the game is life on the frontier. So. <laughs> the hobo style so yeah so it's really um it, i really like the experience so far so we played a little and and one thing we uh and and, and also the game has a, a really nice little subsystem around an attribute called uh, stature and it's a it's a thing about like how much you uh you have a reputation in the west or on the frontier so since we play a short short five session thing just to find out about the game, we, we're not going to be using a lot of reputation, right? Because we don't play long term. But what we realize with that, that, that attribute called stature is that it, there is no skill in the game for persuasion and talk. You can talk to a crowd, but there's no one-on-one -on -one persuasion kind of thing. And then we look at what stature is. Stature is reputation and all that, but it's also something, it's kind of like a charisma attribute. And there's just a little mention about like how imposing you are. So we need, everybody wrote stature for anything conversation wise. And we need, we had kind of like to, we realized by playing it that there was no, nothing else in the game, nothing else in the game for, for that. So, all right, we, we, we're going to use state. Everybody's going to use stature to try to convince other people to do things. And, and at the same time, it makes sense. You know, it makes it, it makes all kinds of sense because you know you uh, when you're when you're in the far west and and, and and on the frontier and you face some Indians or you face people you don't know, they judge on what you look, the deep how deep your voice is and how big you are and how nasty you look. So they're gonna go, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna be um, I'm not gonna be trying to convince that guy. So anyway, yeah, it's uh, so I'm having a lot of fun. We're gonna play a second session soon. Am I gonna do these? Uh, these learning boot hill video just i don't know how much i'm gonna have to do uh maybe when we're gonna go into combat and i'm gonna have to discuss a little bit of that about that maybe some some characters gonna die so i'm gonna have to uh to i'm gonna have to talk about that a little bit uh yeah but uh, that, that that's basically you know what learning boot hill has been so far because for me um i so i asked the player to create a horse horses for the character so everybody has a horse with a name, with a you know, with skills and stuff. Um, not everybody has a gun, so some of these guys are not going to be useful in gunfight, you know. And so, and 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 fighting is not always about gun because you can brawl a lot uh, in this game. Brawl, you know, brawling is a is it should have been quite common, you know. But I'm pretty sure back in the days people were fist fighting way before shooting at each other. You know, because I, I, I don't know. I was thinking about that. I was talking with the guys. And I'm like, you know, in the Wild West, if you, if you take your gun off for no reason, people, you know, people around, even if they don't know you, they won't trust you. So they, they will like to give, get rid of you real quick because a, a, gun, a bullet wound in back in the days in the East part could infect and shit and it's dangerous for the children and the people around. So nobody wants a, someone shooting at each other. I'm pretty sure like gunshot was... Uh, was way uh, I don't know uh, rare was rare rarer I don't know how to say that in English but was less 
common that we see in the movies. You know, in the movie, they, they shoot at all the time. They sh you know, they maybe shooting in the air, you know, to scare Indians and scare animals and stuff like that. Yeah. But sh shooting at each other, like on the street and everything, I'm pretty sure that shit was not common. Because nobody, you know, especially on the frontier where, where people are stressed all the time about, about wild animals and Indians and diseases and infections. Nobody wants to, to have uh, steel going through the air like that. Uh, it's just bad for everyone. And so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, and, and also guns were not super effective. You know, you know, they were not accurate. They were not, you cannot shoot for a long distance with a handgun at the time. So all these, these things um, make for, I'm pretty sure people were fist fighting more. But that, hey, that's up for, that's up for grab. Uh, if you are an historian and you, you want to, you want to comment on that you can uh, as long as you want so yeah so so boot hill is is i um, i like it so far uh, i hope we're gonna get a, a good a good um a good hand of it uh, by the fifth session and uh i would say it's my go-to game for wild west so far uh i i, I really like the these all these little you know subsystem for everything and the way the way it's implemented all together and it's just it creates a reason why you want to use them, you know, a reason why you want to go into a shootout, a reason why it's, it's just, it's, and by looking at the rules, you know already before them. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, so again, I wish you a happy new year. I hope everybody, uh, I haven't seen a lot of vlogging about RPG nowadays. It's been a long time. People, people are, are, have left YouTube. They, they, they do that on, uh, on Facebook group now way more, uh, which I can understand. But hey, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've played Boot Hill before, let me know what you think. All right, talk to you soon.